In this video, we are going to show you how to connect IP phone and GP7OA and can make outgoing or incoming call. Before start the video, I want to tell you a little story about IP phone and GP7OA gateway to make you understand in easy ways. After GP7OA connected with the internet, it's just like a bridge between IP phone and Bluetooth mobile phone. We can pick up the phone and dial out through the Bluetooth mobile. Meanwhile, it can be independent from the limitation between frequency and telecommunication provider. So, GP7OA is the best solution which is economical and easy to load. In the following video, I will teach you how to set up the connection between Bluetooth mobile phone and GP7OA. Let's start with the new web page. Please remember that each gateway has its own default IP. So the default IP of GP7OA is 192.168.0247. Enter the username and password in the login page. Now, we are in the BTVO IP PBX page. First, we need to set up an extension. Click Users. Create a new user. Select Dial Plan 1. And set the SIPIS password as 6000 or whatever you want. Update. Then click Apply changes. Then you can go to system status to check the connection status. As you can see, the extension is still disconnect now. That's okay. I will show you how to make it work later. Now execute SJ phone. Click option. Select profile. New. Input GP seven O eight as your profile name. Okay. Go to SRP process. Input one nine two one six A O two four seven in process domain, and cancel the process is string outbound. Okay. Input the account and the password which we had set in the SIPIS password. So let's enter 6000 here and here. Okay. Okay. Now you can see the extension is registered. The SJ phone is registered as well. So we can prepare a mobile phone now. Execute the Bluetooth function of this mobile phone. As you can see, there have a port on the list from GP seven O eight dash one to GP seven O eight dash eight. Select GP seven O eight dash one. Input the password. Click pair. Now it's connected. Then you can go back to the system status. The BT1 shows green line now. It means the Bluetooth connection is success. Let's go to outgoing part to check our setup. An outgoing coin rules pair an extension pattern with the trunk. As you can see, the BT1 trunk shows zero in front. It means every call which start with zero will die out by this port. Let's go to dial plan next. 
Do you remember that we had set out down plan one in the previous step? You can see the outgoing status of down plan one. Also, you can set the outgoing coin rules and the local contest preference here. In the incoming part, you can set incoming code to link with the destination. And now the destination shows go to user six thousand. It means all the incoming code will be forward to destination six thousand. So all the setup is no problem. We can do the outgoing and incoming test. Let's do the outgoing demonstration. First, use SJ phone to dial out. Enter the phone number. You can see the telephone is ringing. Now your VoIP can directly dial out. Next, let's do the incoming demonstrations. Use table phone to make an incoming call. Now you can see the incoming call has been received. 